Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at signs that your web browser may have been hacked or hijacked. Now, browser hijacking is potentially serious security issue. If an hijacking malware or program has taken hold of your browser, any personal or sensitive information stored within the browser is a major security risk. Browser hijackers also often make it impossible for you to use your browser, like you see on the screen, slow loading pages, or you may have redirects on that particular browser. You may have a unknown homepage or the URL may be redirecting to a dodgy site. And this is one of the most common symptoms of browser hijacking. So if you're entering a URL and you find yourself being directed or redirected to a completely different website to the one that you uh, put into the browser, then this means that you have been hijacked. And this is an infection of your browser and you'll need to deal with that. So let me give you an example of a redirect or some sort of issue with your browser. You may type something in up the top. Maybe you put in a URL for a website and you'll get redirected. Or maybe it's a case that you're doing a search for a term in the search box and you'll get completely redirected from the original site. You can see the redirects there and it will take you to other sites and this is commonly known as a redirect. And this is something that is very, very serious and very dangerous because you don't know what they're redirecting you to. It could be an unsavory site. It could be an adult site. It could be anything like that. Or it could be just adverts. There's loads of reasons why. So you want to go up to the top right-hand side and click on settings here. You also want to check to make sure there is no... Uh, extensions added into your browser. This is another common area. You'll start having uh, browser extensions added in or you've added the wrong browser extension. And you can see right here, there's a whole list of them here. Now these could be extensions or browser toolbars that you never installed or added yourself. And you would need to remove these from the browser because these could be causing the issue. And you can remove these and uninstall them. If not, you will be able to completely reset your browser, which I'll show you in a second. But go through and remove any extensions that you never installed or that are causing issues to your browser. Now, all of the ones in this browser are completely safe. Uh, but I'm just showing you an example of where you find the browser extensions. They're in different locations for different browsers, but you generally have to find the extensions and remove them from any browser that you are using. It's also important to check your main search engine and see if that's been replaced by one of their chosen search engines or pages. So you can go into your browser settings here, go into settings, and then what you want to do here inside Edge, for instance, uh, you can come down to privacy search and services. From here, you want to come all the way down. So pull down on the right hand side here. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for services. Once you're inside the services area here, what we're looking for here is there is an area which we need to go into, which is this here called address bar and search. Once you're inside here, you can now change the search engine. You'll see that this would have been false changed by the malware or the hijacker, and it would be now forced to go to the site they want it to go to but make sure that is all reset back to the way you like it. You can also reset all of the settings, which I'd advise you to do. Completely reset the browser back by hitting reset settings for the browser. And this will remove any settings that have been put in place. And it will also remove any add-ons or extensions that have been added into the browser. As you can see here, they are now all removed and it's gone back to default settings. That's important. It's best to change all the passwords to any saved passwords that you'd have had stored in your browser, just in case. Uh, I would change all of those. Another area that you want to go to is inside control panel, and you definitely want to go to add and remove programs and check for any programs that have, may have been installed recently. If you've installed software, sometimes there's software that's called Open Candy, and it will install other software during that installation or you may have installed a, a malicious file and it will be stored in here and you can then uninstall it it's that simple you may also get new tabs keep popping up on your browser up the top they just keep opening up 
And you may also see the circle of the browser spinning up the top here where it's not loading properly or it's struggling to connect to the sites they want it to connect to. And these could be unsavory sites uh, that it's trying to connect to here. So be very careful. If this is still happening to your browser, then your browser has definitely been hijacked and you definitely need to do something about it. Do not log into any uh, important sites like your bank or anything like that while your browser has been hijacked because you run the risk of you know losing that sensitive information to the person that has managed to get your browser hijacked, which is malware or something like that. There may also be pop-ups on your screen popping up all over the place. This is another common sign that you have been infected by some browser hijacker or some other malicious malware or Trojan. You can also see here we do have fake security alerts on the screen. These are another sign that your browser has been compromised. These pop-up hijackers are fake security alerts and they are coming through your browser and sometimes they're very difficult to close down. Some of the modern ones, they take the full screen up. And of course, what they're trying to do is get you to call the toll-free number on the screen. They sometimes look like legitimate security alerts, and they can be from Microsoft, or they can be some sort of fake virus uh, scanner or something like that. And you can see this one has taken up the screen. These can be uh, done by downloading dodgy files from some of these file sharing sites uh, and you'll end up downloading something and this screen will pop up or any of those illegal streams that you see. These generally populate from those and what they're trying to do is make you feel that your PC has been breached by some sort of malware and they want you to then call this number so you can then obviously get rid of this uh, particular type of infection it's not an infection some of these they just hijack the browser but if you open up task manager here you'll see it's running right here and all we need to do is close this off so if i go ahead and close this browser off or just pull the internet out and shut the pc down uh, sometimes this gets rid of these uh, particular pests you can see it running right here and all you need to do here is just end task on this particular one right here and it will start to close this off. Sometimes they restart up so it's best just to close down the whole browser like this and it will be gone. So when you open up the browser again it's generally uh, removed from the system. Let me just show you some other variants of these types of things that they do. There's so many of them. This one here is a bit of a crude one here. It says this site says take immediate action, security warning, your Windows system is damaged. And some of these are quite convincing uh, to a lot of people that are new to computers. They will see something like this. It's telling us the system defender has uh, defined that you did not install the update for your antivirus. And now they're telling us to go ahead and click OK here. It doesn't matter what you do. It will always go through a sequence of stuff. So let me go ahead and uh, we'll move on to this uh, Windows Defender one. So when you click on update, it's going to bring up a fake page here. And I'll show you. It looks like this. And basically, when you click OK, you'll see something looking like this. So this one is pretending to scan your system. And this one is an older version, but you get the general idea. Sometimes this is good enough to convince some person that they are heavily infected and all these are fake. They're not actually real viruses or malware. It's just trying to convince you that your system has been, uh, you know, infected. Even the fake Windows update here, this is all fake. It's coming through a browser. And basically what you need to do is close your browser down and this will go away. And of course, what they're trying to do is obviously get you to call a number and they will then work their magic on you to try and scam you out of hundreds and hundreds of pounds, if not thousands of pounds. So you've reset your browser. No matter what browser you're using, you should reset your browser and then you should run something like Malwarebytes, the free version, on your computer. You don't need the paid version. If you've already got an antivirus program, make sure it's updated. Sometimes these can get disabled by this malware as well. So make sure that you run some secondary uh, malware scanner like Malwarebytes or Hitman Pro, you can run this on the computer and remove all of this from your PC. 
It's important that you run multiple scans from different software. Malwarebytes ADW Cleaner is another great one for removing adware and junkware and stuff like that. It's also important to run your disk cleanup utility or one of the tools that you like to use like CCleaner or, you know, uh, Bleachbit or any other tool that you're using to clean out the DNS cache and all the junk files that are on there. And you can also use tools like this one as well, which are very powerful tools to remove any sort of malware or hijacking in your browser. It's important that you remove all of this and run multiple scans to make sure your system is fully cleaned. And once that's done, uh, you're pretty much good to go. If you still feel unsafe and you don't want to take any more chances, you can always reset your PC back. Remember, restore points. If you're using a restore point, if it was infected back when you uh, create a restore point, these can get reinstalled back on the system. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.